So we have another review um, for mining rig cases, closed cases or chassis or what do you want to call them. Um, this time for six GPUs, two different types. Um, if you want to see what's inside these cases, hit the like button. Hey, hey, hey guys, uh, welcome back to Mining Hardware Channel. This is me, Gundis, as usually your host. Um, today we are reviewing two uh, mining cases uh, for uh, GPU mining. One is a uh, 4U size server rack, for, and the other one is 6U size. Um, both of them are uh, do quite a similar job, but uh, we will walk through everything and uh, see what's inside them and what kind of performance they do both uh, with the cooling and so on. So, um, yeah, from the front, they look, they, they are quite nice. Um, they have a, they actually has a six, um, six fan option for each of them, uh, but they have only three fans uh, fitted in. It's, it's, it's totally enough, you know, because they are high efficiency fans, uh, 6,000 RPM. You don't know, need even so big fans. Um, just I didn't have a smaller ones. Um, so yeah, in the front you can see there's three fans. There's also USB ports and there's a on and off button and a reset button. Um, so I will take the camera closer and we will see what's inside these. What's the gaps between the GPUs and the... Uh, and what we're we using. So this is how they look from the back. There's your usual motherboard ports, um, DVI port for your uh, image, and then the, there's the, all, the, all the other ports. What do you have on the motherboard? So let's check out first this one here. So you can see um, we are using 1000 watt power supply EVGA and running them on the uh, Biostar TB250 motherboard, which is for six GPUs. And then there's a uh, six um, MSI armors um, connected. Um, the gaps are pretty big on this. Uh, probably you could fit another maybe two uh, GPUs if you attach. This is the option I was talking about. Uh, you can attach three more cool, cooling fans here. Um, so if you would do that, probably the uh, if you fit eight GPUs, you know you could use six cooling fans, and they probably would uh, um, uh, cool down the graphics cards very well. Um, just use the 8GPU mining, bo mining board. Um, this is the what we're using, this is Biostar TB250. And uh, if you would want to use for the 8GPUs, uh, um, prob probably the, the best option would be to use this Biostar TB250 BTC Plus. Um, that's what I like the best, you know, it might be different. Um, and this is the other case. So you can see you can fit on this. Um, it's actually, the, actually ex exactly the same setup. Um, there's a, there's a, like, but on this one it's like the motherboard is underneath um, the graphics cards. And you can attach another cooling fans. Uh, three cooling fans on the back of the mining rig, um, but in my case, as I said, it's it's cool enough. Um, the graphics cards. I think this setup has the. Uh, yeah, these are RX 580s, and them on there, so I think also. Yeah, these are the 580s, 8 gigabyte armors. I think so. Yeah, look like. Yeah. So. Uh, so yeah, this this one this one has. And the power supply is mounted here on, on the front. You can see it has a, a also a dual power supply option, so you can add another power supply here. And this also has another option for, for two power supplies. Um, but the, the thing is, if you use two power supplies on this case, um, you would need a, you, the uh, Razer uh, cables, USB cables, you know, the, the ones uh, which come from the side. Um, I don't think I have any here to show you. But yeah, 
Um, anyway, you, you would know, you know, the, the USB connection is coming from the side, you know. Otherwise, you won't be able to put in um, the power supply. The cables will be here bent uh, too much. Um, that's, that's everything I think what I wanted to show you from inside. Um, let's see, let's connect the mining rigs and see the performance and uh, see how cool the graphics card is running. Okay, and I forgot one thing, you know, to show you the size of the case. Um, so this one is uh, uh, 43 centimeters wide and uh, And it's about 67 uh, in the length, uh, where the gaps between the GPUs are they are about three and a half centimeters, uh, three yeah three and a half somewhere, three and a half centimeters, and where on these the gaps between the GPUs are um, yeah, three centimeters. So this this one uh, has a little bit bigger gaps because uh, the case is wider. So this is nearly the same. It's 42, and the length. It is uh, 47 centimeters. Um, so yeah, that's the sizes of the the cases. I do want to warn you, uh, if you have a problems with your hearing or uh, some kind of issue, um, better turn off this video now, because it's going to get ugly and very noisy. Um, so let's turn on the machine and see what it does. The small jet engines. Uh, yeah, this is this is how it sounds like. Um, it's very noisy, um, but I will try to avoid it, and uh, I will just show you the screen and talk you through it um, and uh, see the performance and the uh, power usage uh, and how how much the temperatures on the graphics cards. Right, I want to just show you quickly. Um, we are mining mining Monero on this mining rig, and uh, yeah, because the AMD. Uh, uh, 8 gigabyte card is quite good for Monero mining. It's it's it has more difference than on uh, Ethereum mining. So this is the stats we are getting at the moment. Um, so the GPU temperatures, the fan speed is on zero. The GPU temperatures is uh, 52 Celsius maximum, and we are hashing uh, nearly 5.2 kilohash. And the power usage from the wall is about uh, 750 watts to 800 watts of power. Uh, so yeah, this is the this is the performance this mining rig gives, and uh, yeah, both of them are nearly the same. And uh, this box, which is six U size, uh, the GPU temperature is, is about two Celsius more than the uh, GPUs in the four U case, because there's a little bit more spacing between the GPUs. So yeah, the tests are in for both of these cases. Uh, by the way, we are running overclocks. Um, in Hive OS uh, for Monero mining, uh, it was core clock was 1180, um, core state was number three, also uh, memory overclock was 2250 MHz, and of course, uh, aggressive undervolting was on to save some more power. Uh, by the way, yeah, these 8 gigabyte cars does quite good performance on Monero mining uh, from AMD. Um, there's no real difference on Ethereum mining, and also Monero mining uh, uses a little bit less power, so you can save up the power uh, for your mining rigs. The cooling performance, there's really no difference on this case or that case. Uh, this case was uh, slightly uh, uh, cooler GPUs, about 2 Celsius, 
That's probably because there was slightly bigger uh, gaps as, the, as maybe they look like they're bigger. But anyways, yeah, there's no difference. Um, yeah, I will leave in the description uh, links to these cases and you can read more uh, the specification and see if it suits you. Uh, you don't need to use this high efficient fans as I'm using here if you're using for six GPUs. If you maybe fit in eight GPUs, then you would need probably a user this kind of efficient fans, but otherwise you can use maybe some Delta fans 3000 RPM. I would use it also, but I just didn't have it. I have some on, on the way and I will test and see how that, that performs. So yeah, guys, thank you for tuning in for this video. Links in the description. If you like this video, share, share with your uh, buddies. And also I will see you on the next video, guys. Have a productive day.